Today, we remember the talented French actress Christine Boisson, who has sadly passed away at the age of 68. Best known for her unforgettable roles in Emmanuel and Exterior, Night, Christine had a career that spanned decades, leaving a mark on French cinema and captivating audiences worldwide. Join us as we take a look back at her life, her career, and the legacy she leaves behind. Christine Boisson was born on April 8, 1956, in Salon de Provence, France. From an early age, she demonstrated a deep passion for the arts, especially for acting. This passion drove her to pursue formal training at the prestigious Asterisk Conservatoire National Supérieure d'Art Dramatique Asterisk in Paris, one of the most renowned institutions for drama in France. It was here that she honed her craft, developing the foundational skills that would shape her career. Her time at the conservatory was marked by intense dedication to the study of performance, and she quickly became recognized as one of the most promising young actresses of her generation. Christine's natural talent, combined with her disciplined training, set her on a path toward stardom in French cinema. After completing her studies, she began to take on small roles in theater and television, gaining valuable experience in the world of acting. However, her big break came in 1974 when she landed the role of Marie Ainge in the now iconic film Asterisk Emmanuel Asterisk, directed by Just Jekin. This controversial film, known for its erotic themes and portrayal of female sexuality, became a sensation not only in France but internationally. While the film itself garnered attention for its boldness, it was Christine's portrayal of Marie Ainge that set her apart. The role of Marie Ainge could have easily been reduced to a one-dimensional character, given the nature of the film, but Christine brought a unique depth and complexity to the part. She played Marie Ainge with a mix of vulnerability and strength, allowing the audience to see beyond the provocative surface. Christine's nuanced performance elevated Asterisk Emmanuel Asterisk from being merely a controversial film to one that also carried emotional weight. Her ability to convey subtle emotions and make her character relatable despite the sensational aspects of the story showcased her exceptional talent as an actress. Though Asterisk Emmanuel Asterisk became synonymous with erotic cinema, Christine Boisson was determined not to be defined by a single role. In fact, her portrayal in Asterisk, Emmanuel Asterisk, was just the beginning of a long and diverse career. Christine was fully aware of the risks of being typecast in similar roles and took deliberate steps to avoid that. After the success of Asterisk, Emmanuel Asterisk, she sought out roles that would challenge her as an actress and allow her to display her versatility. She ventured into a wide variety of genres, from psychological dramas to comedies and thrillers, always bringing the same intensity and dedication to each part. One of her most acclaimed performances came in the 1980 film Asterisk Exterior, Night Asterisk, Asterisk Exterior, Nuit Asterisk, directed by Jacques Brel. In this film, Christine took on the role of Lana, an enigmatic and emotionally complex character. The film, a dark noir set in the seedy underbelly of Paris, allowed Christine to explore the full range of her abilities as an actress. Her portrayal of Lana was hauntingly real, and her performance was praised for its rawness and depth. This role further cemented Christine's reputation as an actress capable of delivering powerful and emotionally charged performances, earning her accolades from both critics and audiences alike. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Christine continued to take on challenging roles in both French and international cinema. Her collaboration with notable directors, including Michael Deville, Bertrand Blair, and Raoul Ruiz, added to her filmography's richness. Christine was known for her fearless approach to acting, often choosing roles that pushed her out of her comfort zone and allowed her to explore the darker, more complex sides of human nature. In addition to her work in film, Christine also made significant contributions to French theater. She often returned to the stage, performing in both classic and contemporary plays. Her love for theater remained constant throughout her career, and she was highly regarded for her stage presence 
and ability to captivate live audiences. Whether on screen or on stage, Christine's performances were marked by an authenticity and emotional honesty that resonated deeply with those who watched her. Outside of her professional life, Christine Boyson was known for her private, introspective nature. She kept much of her personal life out of the public eye, choosing to focus on her art and the people closest to her. Friends and colleagues often described her as a deeply thoughtful and sensitive person, someone who approached life with the same intensity and passion that she brought to her roles. Christine's dedication to her craft was unwavering, and she remained committed to acting throughout her life, continuing to take on meaningful roles well into her later years. Christine Boyson's legacy is one of artistic integrity and fearless exploration of the human condition. Her performances in films like Asterisk Emmanuel Asterisk and Asterisk Exterior, Night Asterisk remain some of the most memorable in French cinema. She was an actress who never shied away from taking risks, always pushing herself to new heights and refusing to be confined by the limitations of any single genre or role. Her death at the age of 68 marks the end of an era for French cinema, but her influence will continue to be felt by generations of actors and filmmakers who were inspired by her work. Christine Boyson leaves behind a body of work that stands as a testament to her talent, versatility, and dedication to her craft. While she may no longer be with us, her performances will continue to live on, reminding us of the profound impact she had on the world of film and theater.